this time of the night. It's question and answer time. Who is it tonight that may have a question? Audrey? Um, you said we need to develop thick skin. Do you have any ideas how we might go about that? Thick skin. Yeah, boy, you've got... Because remember I did a video a while back called Why is Stand-Up Comedy So Scary? Which is, uh, the scary part is all the psychological stuff, having to deal with the rejection, and, uh, the humiliation, uh, you know, all the embarrassment, all the things you go through, uh, bad shows, and if you can recover from those things, you can do stand-up. You know, writing material, yeah, that's hard, but it's something you can learn and work on to improve. It's a skill. So, thick skin. Here's, here's what I did, and I've, I've taught this a few times. What you do is uh, really got to start, sit down and be, and, I mean, really brutally honest with yourself about who you are and what's wrong with you. <laughs> exactly. Sit down and go make a list of all of the most insecure things about you that, that people can push your buttons, what makes you mad, sets you off what hurts your feelings, uh, you know, the neglect of, of a birthday card from something, I mean, all those things that just really, you know, because other comedians, especially when they roast, are going to find your sensitive spot and they're going to just dig in, you know? They're going to they're gonna do that uh, power, you know. <laughs> anyway, they, they'll, you know, and, and audiences will too. They can just say the most, oh, I've said audiences say the most awful, awful things to me. In, in the years that I've been, and uh, and I've screwed up shows by getting angry. Okay, well now I've got the problem. I always go, well, what can I do to improve? I can control them. What do I do to 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 help me? So I sat down and made a list of all those things. Those things, you know, and, and don't give them to anybody. This is for you. <laughs> don't show them to anybody uh, unless you really trust them. You know, and. Get those and kind of go, oh my God, if somebody says these things or whatever, points these things out, etc. Now, what you want to do then is think of jokes to handle them or say things that go, basically what the, the, the template for me was, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. You don't, it's much worse than that. <laughs> it's what I call the Cyrano de Bergerac effect, you know, where the guy goes, oh, your nose is rather large, right? And Cyrano takes him apart. Uh, you know, you know, if you, you know, for, but birdies would like to perch on your nose, and Cyrano does this beautiful long speech, and then does a sword fight with the guy and kills him. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that effect. Is like if you're going to insult me, really insult me, because I can insult myself much better than you can. Okay, I'm sensitive about my, you know, I get pits in my skin from a lot of acne when I was a kid. People make fun of me. I go, yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, they beat me in the face with barbed wire. <laughs> so they'd go, whoa, yeah. you know, uh, glasses, they'd go, can I see your glasses? I don't know why people want to do it, and this is what I used to do, and I hope you guys can see this, is I'd go, I have astigmatism. <laughs> it's really bad because it goes both ways. <laughs> and then they'd laugh and forget about putting on my glasses or anything, which bugged me anyway, you know, it's like, you know. Now I'm older. People go, oh, you're old, you're old. I'm going, yeah, oh, no, it's the, that's, you know, that's not, you know, you need to tell me that, you know, my blood type has been discontinued. <laughs> okay, and it uh, doesn't matter, you know, my little pot belly, you know, you find a way to make a joke about it, make it work. I've got a belly here, you know, oh, yeah, I know, I got Dunlap's disease. That's where my belly Dunlapped over my belt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anybody says anything about me that I'm sensitive about, uh, I've developed that thick skin because I can make it worse. Oh, so you know, I can make it worse, I can make a joke out of it, I can do that better than you can. Okay, so you take away their power. That's what it's about, is that if they say those things and you get upset, then they have the power. They, they can push your, you psychologically and emotionally around, but if you take that power away from them by doing it better than them and knowing what those points are and having jokes to diffuse them, then uh, that's, the, that's the process I always use for developing a thick skin. <laughs>